It was almost midnight on the South Vermont Railway, and the engines at the sheds were still asleep. <laughs> well, guys, April Fool's Day has officially started. Ugh, Edward, don't you realize what time that is? Yes, it's midnight, and you should be here sleeping. We engines have to be up in the morning for work, you know. Oh, I know. I know what time it was. Well, you woke us up at midnight, Edward. Yeah. I didn't even get much sleep because I have finished delivering my mail cars to all stations. Sorry, guys, but I've planned to pull some pranks on others at the right time. Edward, this is the wrong time. You see, we all like to sleep at 9:30 to 7 a.m. Yeah, go back to sleep, please. Whatever. You guys can waste the beginning of April Fool's Day by sleeping if you want, but right now I have to start my time for playing pranks. Tch. <laughs> Well, good luck bothering others while they're trying to sleep too, but just don't say we didn't warn you. Say, guys, Edward is gonna ruin someone's holiday. I'm quite concerned if he wakes up anyone at this time, they may be too tired to play pranks. We have to stop him. Some engines don't like others pulling pranks on them. Plus, I am so tired right now. Me too. Sorry, Bethany. The rest of us are going back to sleep. Miss Lindsay will deal with Edward tomorrow. Bethany, however, wasn't convinced. She made a plan. Meanwhile, Edward came quietly to the yards at Henrietta Town Station. Where he found Joanne and Josh sleeping in the carriage sheds. Oh my gosh, Joanne, Josh, there's a monster right behind you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> April Fools! What on earth, Edward? What did you do that for? It's way too early for us to wake up. But you just missed ten minutes of the beginning of April Fool's Day, so I didn't want you guys to miss the rest. If you think you can push it too far with that kind of jokes, why don't you just go back to your sheds and sleep? Yeah, you're going to be too tired for playing pranks. If I do go back to sleep, I'll miss some of the best minutes of my life. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to do some fun this time of night. I bet that great Western engine is going to get in trouble if he doesn't do what we ask him to. Ah, <sighs> don't bother, Josh. Miss Lindsay will deal with him tomorrow. Next, Edward came quietly onto Dexter's branch line where he found Davenny sleeping outside next to the sheds. Psst, Davenny. Ugh, Edward. It's twelve thirty-six in the morning. I know. I wish I could sleep right now, but Miss Lindsay asked me to pass a message to you. What is it? She wants you to meet her at her house to talk about the new mall that is being built by Henrietta Town Station. Oh, okay. <laughs> Silly Davenny, I can't believe she fell for that. Excuse me, Miss Lindsay. Daphne, it's twelve forty-nine in the morning. Don't tell me you're trying to play a prank on me, huh? I thought you wanted to speak with me about the new mall. A mall? I didn't plan on having a mall being built on the South Vermont Railway. Please go back to your shed, Daphne. You only have three hours and twenty minutes to sleep so far. What the heck? Why did Edward tell me to come here? Bother! I can't believe I fell for all this.
Meanwhile, Bevany had arrived at the yards, ready to get back at Edward for all his pranks. Oh my goodness! Edward, there is a haunted diesel coming to get me! Quick, go tell the other engines about it! Oh no! Don't worry, Bevany. I'll go get them to save you. Wait, is that a Christmas engine coming to fill my stocking? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop! Stop! Bust my buffers! What just happened? April Fools, Edward! <laughs> hey, that's not fair! What in blazes? You're not a Christmas engine! What is going on? Uh, April Fools? What's going on out here? Edward is trying to play some pranks, Miss Lindsay. Yes, and after that, he asked me to tell you about the mall when it's too early in the morning. I can't believe I fell for his tricks. Edward, it's 4.45 a.m. in the morning. Why are you playing pranks this early? Because this is the beginning of April Fool's Day, Miss Lindsay, and all the engines might miss it for the holiday. That's why I thought I wanted to have fun this early. I understand that, Edward, but I have received a message from the Station Master that you've been recently playing pranks by scaring Josh and Joanne away to think there is a monster behind them, and then told Daphne to come tell me about the new mall. So I believe you have something to say to us about that. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I wanted to let you guys know when this is the beginning of April Fool's Day. But I guess this is far too early for me to do this kind of fun. I promise I won't play any more pranks, and I should be going back to sleep in the sheds from now on. Apology accepted, Edward. Now with that being settled, let's get you back on the rails. When Edward crawled home, the other engines had woken up to hear the news everything that had happened with him and his early pranks to pull on. Although they knew Edward was only doing it for fun, Edward knew that he wouldn't try pulling more pranks way too early at midnight again. <laughs>